So whenever you're ready, come to your mat. If you want to work with any props today, we've got, you can bring a block, a cushion, but you don't need those. If you've just got your mat, that's absolutely fine. When you're ready, get yourself seated. You can sit cross-legged, you can sit half lotus like I am, you can sit in an easy pose, and you could even kneel, whatever is a comfortable seat for you. You just want to be able to sit here for the next few minutes. When you're ready, bring your right hand over your heart. Sorry, bring your left hand over your heart. Bring your right hand over the top. Close your eyes. And just a little bow of the head. Not so much that your chin is touching your chest, but just a little bit to relax the back of the neck and the throat. Take a nice deep inhale. And a nice slow exhale. Inhale. Fill the lungs, exhale. Empty the lungs. Now just allow the breathing to settle into a normal rhythm. So rather than making this a very active breath, you're just going to allow yourself to become a passive observer of the breath. Settling into a natural rhythm. Nice and gentle in and out through the nose. And then have a little scan of the body. See how you're feeling this morning. And then for the next few breaths, bring your attention to where you feel the breath the most. So it could be your nose, your throat. It could be your chest. It could be the size of the body or the back or the ribcage pushes into the skin and muscles there. Or it could be down towards the belly where your abdomen is, where your um, diaphragm is. Wherever that is, just focus your attention on that physical spot as you take the next few breaths. make the next inhale a bit deeper. Drop your chin to your chest, open your mouth and exhale. Close your mouth, lift your head up and release your hands from your heart, bring them to your knees, gently flicker open your eyes. Let's take the head over to the right first of all. You're just going to drop the right ear towards the right shoulder, try to relax the left foot, try not to let it lift. So it's just the head moving. And then you're going to exhale and roll the head forward, bringing the chin down towards the chest. Inhale, bring the head round to the left. And exhale, roll the head forward, chin to chest. This time, let's interlace the fingers. Take the hands to the back of your head and rest in there. And imagine if you put your hands, place your elbows on a table, you just relax and allow the table to take the weight of the arms. So do the same here. Allow your head to bear the weight of the arms. Take one more nice deep inhale. More and more exhale. And then inhale, lift the head, release the hands, bring it back to the knees. Arms above you, interlace the fingers, turn your palms to the ceiling and push up. Try not to arch the back, so try not to push your chest forward and let the hands come behind you. Keep the hands right above you and draw your shoulders up to your ears. You're really stretching. Stretch, 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 stretch. And then it's like a big yawn to come out of it. We do, oh, we stretch the arms out like we're taking a giant, giant, giant yawn this morning. Nice. Let's come onto all fours. You're gonna swing your legs round to the back of your mat. I'm coming into a tabletop. So here, bring the hands under your shoulders, knees under your hips, and just a little bit of lift from the belly. So try not to kind of collapse and sink kind of like a hammock, we're going to think about pulling the belly up a little bit. So we've got this suspension and this lift. As you inhale, 
you are going to start to tilt your tailbone to the ceiling and look up. As you exhale, you're going to start to draw that tailbone back underneath you. Bring your chin towards your chest and push your shoulder blades to the ceiling. Inhale, we're coming forwards again. This one is cow. Let the chest drop below the level of the armpits. And as you exhale, around the other way. Chin to chest. Inhale, come forwards. Try to use the full inhale for this movement and then the full exhale. So you're going to start to come back towards a child's pose. Inhale, bend the arms. Try to keep the chest low as you come forwards. As your nose kind of meets your fingertips, you can push up and find your way back to cow. cow. Exhale, we step to round. Come back to your cat. Find your child's pose. Inhale, drop the elbows. Draw up the chest. Lift, push up. Cow, let's do two more of those. Inhale, exhale. Inhale. Last one, exhale. Inhale. Back to your tabletop. Let's wake the core up a little bit more. So you're gonna make sure you're pulling your belly button up towards your spine. And now you're gonna to start to engage your pelvic floor muscle. That's one that's uh, the, the lowest of your abdominal muscles. It's a pretty deep one. We're gonna draw them, that one up and along with the belly button and then we're locking our abdominal muscles in and getting nice and strong. You're gonna reach your right foot to the back of your mat. Pick up your foot and just bring the heel up to the level of your hip or your bottom. Don't have to go high, just sticking it out. We're just reaching back and push back with the heel. Then you're gonna see if you're gonna lift your left hand up and reach the left hand forward. Just level with your shoulders, you're in a nice long line. Inhale, exhale, you're gonna tap elbow to your knee. Inhale, reach out. Exhale, elbow taps knee. Inhale. And as we tap elbow to knee, you're gonna round the back a little bit. So draw the belly button up even more, push your shoulder base to the ceiling, reach out. Last one. Exhale. Inhale. Bring your hand down, bring your foot down and bring the knee back under the hip. Let's go this side. So just set yourself up first of all, make sure you're back in the middle. Pull the belly button and engage, pull before reach out with the left foot. Lift it up, no higher than hip. Reach the right hand forwards. This is hard enough, it's quite hard here, so we're going to challenge ourselves even more when we start to move. So as you exhale, keep that core engaged around the back. Inhale. Exhale. Inhale, we've got two more. Exhale, nearly there, you can do it, keep, keep drawing that belly button in, keep squeezing, exhale. Inhale, reach out, bring the hand down, bring the knee back down, find your way back to your child's pose. Nice, let's bring the toes together and come to a, to a sorry, child's pose. Reaching the arms forward, let's make this a nice active one, so rather than being a kind of passive, relaxing, having a chill moment, we're going to make this nice and active, we're going to reach the fingertips to the top of the mat as if you're gonna to touch it. You're gonna to reach your tailbone to the back of the mat if your tailbone's gonna to touch the back and then sink your forehead towards the mat. So let's take two nice deep rounds of breath, focusing the inhale in the back of the body, back of the ribs, and the exhale on sinking the chest through the legs. One more inhale. Exhale. And then inhale, lift the body. Bring your hands under your shoulders, tuck your toes, and we're going to lift your knees up. Start to straighten the legs and send your tailbone up to the ceiling. Downward facing dog, and let's pedal this one because it's our first down dog. So bend one knee, push the opposite heel into the mat, and then you swap sides. And marching your way through. And then from here, let's start to twist a little bit more. So we start to twist the hip, we drop one, we lift the opposite hip. And in the end, you can look under your armpit here. Let's do a couple more of those. And then bend the knees and walk the feet forward. So we're going to bring the feet behind the wrist, nice and wide, and just turn the right door. So just leave the body dangling. Hold your elbows, knees can be bent, or you can start to straighten them a bit more. And you're just hanging, maybe having a few little pulses. A little swing side to side, just to relax the body, 
Keep everything nice and loose. It's the weight of the body that's going to stretch the whole back chain from right from your heels all the way up the back to your legs, over your sit bone, down your body, and down your arms, out your elbows. And then let's bend the knees. Bring your right hand to the ground underneath your face. You're going to start to reach the left hand up to the ceiling, turn to the left hand side, and begin to straighten the left leg. The left leg does not have to go completely straight here, but it has to be straighter than the right. Let's take one more inhale. Exhale, bring your left hand out and put it where the right one is and reach the right hand up. So again, a, so again, bend the left knee nice and deeply. Begin to straighten the right one a little. Doesn't have to go totally straight. Just straighter than the left. Inhale. Exhale, come all the way down. Nice. Inhale, come to your tiptoes. Sorry, can't mean straighten your legs. Lift your body up, reach forward. So really reach the crown head forward and the tailbone back. Let's bring the hands to the thighs. And you're going to bring the um, wrist creases into the thigh creases. And you're going to push your hands into your legs as you reach your body forwards. We're still body parallel to the ground. It's still at a right angle. We're just lengthening the crown, the head forward, and the tailbone back. One more breath. And then lower the body down. Place the hands on the mat. You're going to step your left foot back. Bring the left knee down. And you're going to have your right foot in front. So you're going to come up to a low lunge. Reach the hands up. Nice. So here, rather than kind of sinking, collapsing into your low lunge, think about lifting. Think about lifting from your left kneecap all the way up the front of your left leg. Lifting that left hip bone and reaching both hip bones upwards rather than allowing them to sink down to the floor. Reach the arms up, long body, long spine, pull your belly button in. And then let's reach forwards, bring your right left hand to the mat, sorry. Right hand keeps on going, reaching to the back of the mat and then up to the ceiling. Push down with the left hand and reach up with the right. And then let's take, like we did seated, we're gonna bend the right hand, um, bring the hand to the back of the head. And you start to look up and you're trying to twist your chest towards the ceiling. This one is a bit harder because you've still got this, you haven't got quite as much mobility. Take a nice deep in. And then you're gonna exhale, bring your right back. Step your right knee back. Bring it to the ground, we're in a modified plank. Make sure you've got your shoulders over your wrist. Draw your belly button and look forwards. As you exhale, we're gonna lower all the way to the mat. Pointing your toes, inhale, reach your chin forward. Peel your chest off. Cobra here, make sure your shoulders aren't right up to your ears. Pull them down, create some space and a nice long neck. Exhale, come all the way down, tuck your toes. Push up, send your sit bones back, up towards the ceiling for downward facing dog. We'll take four breaths here. So here, as you inhale, relax the belly. As you exhale, draw your belly button in towards your spine. Inhale, relax the belly. Exhale, draw the belly button in. Two more like that, inhale. Exhale. Last one, inhale. Exhale. From here, you're going to step your left foot forwards between your hands and bring your right knee to the mat. We're coming up for a low lunge on the other side. So again, it's quite tempting to sink down. And you do get a nice stretch, there's nothing wrong with this. But if we come up a little bit more, bring both hip bones up. Think about stretching from the right kneecap all the way at the front of the right leg, all the way at the right hand side of the body, and up to the ceiling. Nice long torso, nice long spine. One more inhale here. Then we're going to reach forward, bringing the right hand to the mat this time. Left hand goes back and up to the ceiling, turn to face the side. Push down with the left hand, reach up. Sorry, push down with the right hand, reach up with the left. From here, let's bend the left arm, bring the hands to the back of the head, and we rotate the chest. So it's, it's almost like you're trying to spin your rib cage up to the ceiling and you look up. You get this pull in between the shoulder blades, you get this opening through the armpit, one more breath. And then exhale, bring your left hand to the back, step your left knee back. We're back to modified planks, so again adjust, we don't end up in a tabletop, we want to make sure it's different, that the legs are straighter, the weight is further forwards, inhale, exhale. Pointing your toes in, help cover. Maybe this one's a little bit higher this time. Push up, look up. Exhale, tuck the toes, send the tailbone up and back. Downward facing dog. Four breaths here. 
You can have a little bend of the legs in Down Dog if it helps you tilt your tailbone. If you imagine sticking your bum up in the air, that's what we're going for. We're going for this forward tilt of the pelvis. So if the legs need a little bend, that's absolutely fine. Keep thinking about drawing the belly button towards the spine and reaching your chest towards your thighs, last breath. From here, we're going to inhale, come to tiptoes and ripple the body forwards. This time we're coming to a high plank, so if you need to adjust. Knees off the mat, pull the belly button in. Look forward, don't look at your thumbs, look beyond the top of the mat. From here, we're going to take one more breath and we're going to lower. So if you would prefer to bring your knees to the mat first and lower in that modified chaturanga, you can. Or else we're going to lower from full chaturanga. Here we go, exhale, all the way into the mat. Point your toes, inhale, cobra. Exhale, come down. Let's reach the hands back towards the feet. Turn the palms in. We're going to take locusts. So you're going to reach the fingers back. And same as Kobe, we're going to peel the chest off, lift the back of the head, lift the chest. And then you're going to lift your feet as well. Keep reaching your fingers towards your feet. Keep lifting your head and your feet towards the ceiling. One more breath here. And then exhale. Lower. Cross your forearms over each other and turn your head and look to the right. Maybe give the hips a little wiggle side to side to relax the lower back. And then we're going to set ourselves up for a second round. So reach the arms back, forehead to the mat. So you've really got to keep reaching back. That's what's going to lift you. The, the pull, so you start to reach back. Reaching back pulls your chest up, lifts the head, and then you lift the feet. And if you lift the feet a millimetre, you have to lift the head too. Squeeze, one more breath. And then come all the way down, cross your forearms. Look to the left. Give the hips a wiggle. And then coming back to center. Bring your hands back under your shoulders. We're gonna push back up to a plank. So you have two options. You can do this with the knees down, push with the, keep the knees on the mat as you push up, or you can bring them up. If you're gonna do it with the knees down, cross your ankles, pick your feet up, bring the knees to here. If you want to do it to a full plank, you're gonna tuck your toes under and then you're gonna straighten the legs. Really engage the legs. You're really gonna pick the knees up, you're gonna make them strong. Next thing is you pull your belly button in. So you, there should be a little gap between the floor and your belly button right now. And then we're gonna take a nice deep inhale. A nice deep exhale. Next inhale, you're gonna push your way up. And exhale, downward facing dog. Take a nice deep inhale here. Open the mouth for this one and exhale. Close the mouth, inhale, come to your tiptoes. Bend your knees, look forward, step your feet back to the top of the mat and come to sit down. Reach your feet forwards, straighten your legs. You're gonna inhale, reach the arms up. Exhale, reach forward towards your feet. If you need to, you can bend your knees here. You don't have to have the legs super straight. You can grab your feet with the legs bent. Or if you're working with a strap, you could use your strap around your feet, holding on here. But you're gonna reach for your feet. You can grab your feet or your ankles. And then you're gonna use that grip to pull yourself down. You'll keep thinking about really moving your chest forwards. If you, you wanna hinge from your hips and use your pelvis to move. If you start to use your back, we're losing the pose, and, we're, and as, if we bend from the back, we actually pull our chest further away from our legs, and we want the chest to come towards the legs. So really think about reaching the chest forward, keep looking towards your feet. Let's take two more breaths. And inhale, come all the way. Bend your knees, plant your feet on the mat, hip distance. Take your hands behind you. We're gonna come for reverse tabletop. You're gonna push your hips up to the ceiling and look back. We're taking two breaths here, opening the shoulders, finding some space along the front of the body, top of the chest, between the collarbones. Last breath. And exhale. Come all the way down there. Let's straighten the legs back out and then we're just going to pick the right leg up, bring it in and take it out to the side. So we can fold over a one-legged forward fold, inhale, reach up. Here, same principle as a two-legged one, we want to reach the chest forward. We want to keep the back nice and long, 
Try to feel bigger as you fold. Try not to feel you're getting smaller. Try to lengthen and feel some more space developing as you fold rather than less. One more breath here. And then inhale, come all the way. Pick up your right knee, plant your foot on the floor. And we're taking a twist, so take the right hand behind your back, reach up to the ceiling with your left, inhale. Exhale, twist to your right. So bring the left elbow to the outside of the right knee and then use that connection to push your way around. Try to spin your belly button to face the side of the room. Two more breaths. Inhale, lift, unravel yourself, look forward, and then go all the way around to the opposite side. Place both hands on the, up, up the side of your mat and lean over. Nice. Come back to centre, straighten out your right leg, bring the left one and take it out to the side. Forward fold over the left leg, inhale, reach up. Try to keep the right toes flexed here. As you exhale, really think about the hip joint and the pelvis tilting to create this forward fold. Chest reaching forwards, look forwards towards your foot. Inhale, lengthen the spine, exhale, fold. Inhale, a little lengthen, reach, exhale, fold forwards. Let's do one more like that, inhale. Exhale, fold. Inhale, come all the way up. Pick up your left leg, plant your foot on the floor, reach your left hand behind you, right hand to the scene. Keep that right foot flexed, inhale. Exhale, we're twisting. Push your arm against the outside of your left leg and really try to spin your belly button round. Two more breaths. See if you can find a little bit more twist with these final two breaths. Next inhale, you're going to begin to unravel yourself, reach crown head to the ceiling, and then come all the way and place both hands, lean over. And inhale, come back to centre. Let's finish with a little Navasana. Pick your feet up, make sure you're on your sit bones, and again, lift your chest here. Imagine if you had an eye right in the centre of your chest, that eye needs to look over the tops of your legs. So really lift up, sit up. We're going to take two more breaths, pull the belly button in. Find some space between the collarbones, find some lightness in the face and in the palms of the hands. And then cross your ankles, bring your knees, I'm going to roll forward over the tops of the feet. Bring your knees down, place your hands under your shoulders, step your feet back to either a high plank or maybe bring the knees down and take it to the modified plank. We're going to exhale and lower. Inhale, point your toes, find your cobra or maybe an upward facing dog. And exhale. Make your way to your downward facing dog. Pushing the mat away with your hands. Reaching your tailbone to the ceiling. So it's a nice stretch along the back, along the arms, along the torso. Allow the heels to drop towards the mat. They don't need to touch the mat. And again, your legs can be a little bit bent. If your heels are on the mat though, think about if your mat was on sand and you could push the heels actually lower than your toes. One more breath here. And then inhale, come to your tiptoes, bend your knees up, you're going to step your feet to the top of the mat. We're going to come back to that ragdoll we did in the beginning. So hanging down over this time, if you want to hug the backs of your legs, hug your elbows behind you. Or you could interlace your fingers, the base of your spine, start to straighten your arms. And then drop the crown of the head forward as you let your arms come over. Let's take one more breath here. And wherever your arms are, release them. Bring them back to the mat. Step your feet back. Back to plank. We'll take one final vinyasa. So either knees up or knees down. Either way, exhale, lower. Inhale, lift. Open your heart, look up. And exhale, downward facing. Dog. Take a nice deep inhale here. Open the mouth and exhale. 
Inhale, come to your tiptoes, walk the feet forward and come to sit down on your mat. So return to that original seated position on your mat. From here, we're going to inhale and reach the arms out overhead. Exhale, we float them down, bring your chin towards your chest. Inhale, reach up. This time, you're going to open your arms and turn to the right. So just a little gentle twist to finish. Inhale, lift the crown, the head to the ceiling. Exhale, allow the body to twist a bit deeper. Inhale. Exhale, release into the twist. Inhale, come back to centre, reach up. Look up here and exhale, open to the left, so the other way. Inhale, lengthen the spine to the ceiling, inhale. Exhale, we twist. Inhale, try not to force the twist. More just don't fight it, just let the body go where it needs to go. Inhale. Reach the arms up. This time bring the palms together. And as you exhale, you're going to think about lifting the crown of your head to the ceiling as you pull your hands down, bringing them into the centre of your chest. Rest your thumbs on your sternum. <clears throat> Rest the elbows on the side of your body. Take a nice deep inhale. Exhale. Inhale. Exhale. This time we're going to inhale, we're going to hold the breath, so inhale. Hold the breath for four, three, two, one. Release the breath nice and slowly for eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Allow the breath to return to normal. Lift your thumbs to touch the point between your eyebrows. Take a little bow forwards to your mat. Thank yourselves for taking the time and the space to roll out your mat and practice today. And I would thank you for joining me.